Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for you. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. All right, truth be told, literally jump out from the shuffle. And to be fair, second message for you. And what a combination this one is. Clear communication for some of you, truthful, the chance to be in alignment with um, something that you truly believe in. And then also the opportunity for uh, fair and fair exchange this is quite something because the open window heart chakra position for our little all can be the chance to open up something new also that can be extremely auspicious So let's see what the tarot has to say about this combination for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Truly uh, lovely energies, truth be told and to be fair. They can go hand in hand um, in a quite amazing way. Here we go. Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups. Knight of Wands. Five of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. This can be uh, an energy about uh, lacking communication for some of you or for others, possibly a um, past set of energies, uh, meaning that possibly um, silence was involved for a certain amount of time the five of pentacles is an energy about um, feeling left out in the cold following the general meaning of the card someone that can feel a little bit neglected but um, if that's the case uh, for some of you there is a there is a change that is driven by passion and feelings and this opportunity can be a source for satisfaction and a wish granted because of the nine of cups of course so it's kind of interesting because the passion can go along with the feelings and this can be true even for uh, some of you but it is possible that the knight of wands um, is an energy channeled by your person they can be truly fiery uh, someone that is ready to go just like the night um, can be because it is fired up as an energy uh, ready to pursue meaningful targets let's go and do this thing and then we move towards this other one because we cannot wait you know that's why sometimes the night can get the um, meaning about uh, being hot and cold, a little bit uh, inconsistent. But uh, in this case, it is beautiful to see the to be fair energy and the truth be told, because even some of the persons that some of you may have the chance to deal with, uh, they can channel together a trustworthy approach with an extremely passionate one and um, you may be interested in this kind of um, connection because you know exactly what you want queen of cups energy someone that has mastered self-love someone that is in touch with uh, intuition and heart guidance and the queen for this very reason um, 
is extremely comfortable when it comes to share meaningful cup of love with a special someone, a person that she may have recognized as deserving of um, time, effort and love. This can be a source of satisfaction again with the Nine of Cups, um, a wish granted energy, some kind of opportunity to achieve um, a desired outcome because the uh, right steps have been followed. So there is the chance for the Queen of Cups, so let's say for some of you, to lead by example, showing to a fiery person how to um, deal in a mature way with matters of the heart. So this is interesting. Let's clarify this combination. Let's see what we can get about it. And if these two energies, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, are channeled by some of you because you are able to recognize some of your traits in these, um, in these energies, uh, well, you are extremely mature and you are able to balance out um, properly your passions, Knight of Wands, with your feelings and emotions. So it's a balancing act that you may have learned along your journey and that can be even a source of satisfaction moving forward. So let's see. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands and another wish card, uh, bottom of the deck, the star. Um, truly auspicious. Uh, so Eight of Pentacles is the first energy that I am called to address. This is a mindset, guys, um, a beautiful one when it comes to love because the Eight of Pentacles is a very industrious and productive energy. This man knows what it takes in order to bring to life all these beautiful pentacles that are the source for his satisfaction, fulfillment and success even. Because we get it with the Queen of Cups, it's like a knowing about how love partnerships should be established, nurtured and enjoyed also. And this is quite, um, quite a set of virtues that can come to play in your favor because again you can lead by example and i am saying this in a extremely um, humble way meaning that the other person if the knight of wands and the page of wands energy are channeled by them they can truly look at you as someone that can teach them something important when it comes to love connections because as i usually say the pages can be awkward and goofy because they need to go through the experiences in order to raise their level they are sincere they are trustworthy uh, they may have something important to say or to share but uh, possibly they can they can be awkward in their ways um, to see the Knight of Wands with the Page of Wands, it's like um, a learning process. It is also possible that some of you may have the chance to deal with someone younger. But despite the age factor, um, it is a matter of um, drive. This combination is, let's say, a desire to be together. And on the other hand, we have a Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles energy that is all about maturity, 
following precise steps, speaking truthfully about what it can be important to notice in order for a love connection to be successful. And we have a very important patience factor because of the Knight of Pentacles, which is a loyal, honest, trustworthy and extremely reliable energy. But at the same time, this one is the slowest of the four knights in the deck because it takes its own time to evaluate a particular situation so that it can be sure that something important can be achieved. He is holding the Ace of Pentacles. So there is an offer, let's say, a goal that can be achieved, but it can be ignited only if certain steps are followed and a wish can be granted basically. So it's quite a contrast between the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles um, approach. This is um, a mature way of doing things and following the considerations that can see these energies channeled by some of your persons and these energies channeled by some of you the knight of pentacles is a direct consequence that you can display you can show how things can be done in order to be successful and with the practical opportunity to fulfill a wish that is also important because it can offer the chance to shine the most bright light and this can be true for the both of you you can be extremely comfortable with each other and this may explain the desire coming from this person to be with this beautiful queen of cups but they can play the knight of pentacles energy if they put in the effort that the queen of cups is capable of explaining with her behaviors so it seems that <laughs> the queen of cups can guide these lovely and extremely passionate page of ones knight of ones person towards a wish fulfillment extremely meaningful by taking things slowly because it is important to do so it's the fair thing to do and it can be expressed in a truthful way the outcome is extremely auspicious to uh, wish granted cards in this uh, flow quite something so guys i will leave it at that i truly hope it was helpful I'll continue on Vimeo, see you there if you want to join me, the link is below. Let us know if you resonate, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best guys, take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.